Hi everybody, that's Allie. And that is Dash. Welcome to our play date. Where we choose a game, sometimes make up our own rules, and play for a while. Enjoy listening and playing along. Or don't. We can't hear you. It's a podcast. It's like the hits keep, the years stop coming and they don't <laughs> stop coming. <laughs> Smash Mouth was right the whole time. The whole time. Hi everybody. Hi. Hi little ghosties. Hi. Hi ghosties. Uh, today we are playing trivia all about wild and wacky animals. Yeah. I had a hankering to play an animal themed game. And luckily I had one. And Yeah. And Dash <laughs> was like, oh, do you mean wild and wacky animals trivia? And I was like, uh, that is what I meant. Yep, yes. That's indeed. exactly what you so meant. So that's what we're going to play today. Yeah. So I found this game at Five Below. Uh, one of my favorite places to just browse and shop and stuff. Yeah, uh, solid place. Yeah, check them out. And they had a four pack of trivia you know, games. I don't think they have Five Below up north. Really? Yeah. Huh. I think it's I like thought, Five Below. <laughs> See, I thought Five Below was a northern thing that we just started getting here. I don't ever remember them. Really? Up north okay. Up. Well, no, I don't remember them up north growing up either, but. Yeah. I mean, not that they didn't exist. I don't know. I don't know everything. But right. I, I, I didn't know Five Below was a thing until I moved down here. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's play some uh, Wild and Wacky. So like I went first the last time we played a trivia game since I was the youngest. Okay. So I'll uh, go first So you'll this go time? first this time? Yeah. I'll go first reading? Yeah. Yeah. Reading the question. So you answer first. Yes. Okay. Ooh. So these are multiple choice. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So how far away can a wolf smell its prey from? Oh, no. What are the choices? No, there's a typo in the card. Oh, no. I'm going to... Okay. I'm going to tell you the choices <laughs> you're going to pick, and then I'm going to show you this typo, okay. and I'm horrified. Okay. Okay. How far away can a wolf smell its prey from? Is it the its? Is the is the yeah, grammar... It's it sure in the is. its? Okay. Technically, this says, how far away can a wolf smell it is prey from? <laughs> I'm sad. I'm upset. I'm hurt. I okay. don't know how to get over it. Oh, because they made the its... They thought, they thought they made it possessive, but they didn't. They made it a contraction. Got it. <laughs> okay, everybody look. Look at me. Listen. <laughs> Listen to your aunt right now. Okay. I-T apostrophe S only means it is. That's the only thing it means. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything else. It doesn't, it's not it a possessive. It doesn't mean it belongs to it. It, does, it only means it is. So if you're like, hmm, I wonder if this should have an apostrophe, you know what you do? You just say in your mind, it is. If that makes sense, you put that little apostrophe in there and you move along with your day. Otherwise, <laughs> it's what's called a possessive pronoun. <laughs> and it does not need an apostrophe. No. Right? The dog shook its head, the head of the dog, its. No apostrophe. <laughs> and this has been Grammar with Auntie Allie. Okay. <laughs> How far away can a wolf smell its prey from? Over one mile, nearly two miles, nearly four miles, over four miles. Uh, nearly two miles. Wow, correct. Yeah. I had a thing for wolves back in the day. Yeah? Yeah. I used okay. to like really like wolves. Like I had- like, Did you like, have one of those t-shirts that had the wolf oh, yeah. like looking oh, up into 100%, the- Oh, 100%. Like with the three wolves. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I had that, oh, that wow. Kmart shirt. Yes, I oh, had that yeah. shirt. Yeah, I had the uh, I had like a wolf blanket. Yeah, you were like chilling in fifth grade, just like yeah, I got my wolf shirt on today. Ladies. I mean, or high school, What's whatever. Up? <laughs> One of the things I wanted most in this world, and I never got it because I grew out of my wolf phase by the time I got into my knife phase. Um, but one of the things I wanted if most... I had a dollar for every time <laughs> someone said that to me. Um, so one of the magazines that my parents would get, you know how like magazines have those card things that just fall out of them sometimes? I was illustrating the card thing. Falling yeah. Out. Um, my like sometimes you pick up a magazine and like card things will fall out of it. Sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. So my parents used to get a magazine and one of the things used to fall out of it was this like beautiful collector's oh. knife, mm -hmm. right? And it's just a really nice decorated knife and the handle had like wolves on it and had like a bunch of filigree and metal embellishments mm -hmm. and stuff. And I was like, I really want that wolf knife. See, I would argue your wolf face led you to, <laughs> to my knife face. face. It's quite possible. It is quite possible that I was just like, you know what? I can't get the wolf knife. I'm just going to get the knife. I'm just going to get the knife. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Fair. All right, Allie. Here we go. Uh, how long is an elephant pregnant with... Oh, my God. Like, almost two years. <laughs> how long... 
Hold on. Oh no! Is it an, is it another apostrophe? <laughs> How long? We oh, need to talk no. to the makers. Of I will this. be writing a strongly worded letter. <laughs> How long is an elephant it, pregnant? Grammar with, is going to be spectacular. <laughs> all right. How long is an elephant pregnant with it is calf oh, before no. giving birth? I hate it. Twelve months? No. Sixteen months? Eighteen months? Or twenty-two months? It's and, like it's almost uh, it's almost two years. Twenty-two months. I twenty-two think. months is correct. Yes, and I oh, knew the answer to that. Oh my god! Twenty-two months. I mean. They're Can growing you a imagine? whole elephant, a whole ass <laughs> elephant in there. So like, just a, I mean, just the trunk alone is probably two months. <laughs> My gosh, twenty two. Yeah, months. I mean, the elephant, the baby elephant, comes out weighing nearly two, three hundred pounds. Yikes. No, like, yowza. Yeah. It's, it has to develop. I'm telling you, I feel like just having eggs and sitting on them is the way to do it. Chickens, like, chickens eh. know what they're doing. Yeah. yeah. Do fish do it. They mm-hmm. don't necessarily they sit, don't on, sit them. on them. Yeah, they sort of sit. A, they're near just them. like near them or protect them. Yeah. Or like I think octopi have a bunch of eggs and then they just make sure they sure. clean the eggs and like just you know watch over them. I think it's super interesting how like fish mates don't need to even know each other, right? Like. The female comes, they lay their eggs, they swim away, and then yeah. the males come and just like, uh, all over the, <laughs> all over the eggs, and then gone. They never even meet each other. Yeah. And it's and like then the little fish babies are like, what? <laughs> What's going on, <laughs> guys? Help! Can you imagine? One of them has to be born first, and he's just there. <laughs> like. You literally just got bored, and you're like, I don't know, uh, uh, there's nothing. What's like, happening? What's that? I don't, I don't understand. It's, all, it's so much. It's so much. It's so much. <laughs> right? Like, nobody's caring for you. Right. Nobody's no, feeding you. You right. just swim and go. There's, there's like full on an eel mm-hmm. or something just waiting there to be like, mmm. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> Please don't have a grammar error. Please don't have a grammar error. Okay. Whew. Okay. What is the only species where the male gives birth? Seahorses. You're correct. Yes, I am. Yeah. I didn't even need the multiple choice. I know. Nice. Seahorses. I could... There are two animals. I could go to an aquarium and I could watch all day. Seahorses is one. Mm -hmm. Octopus is the other. Hours I could sit there and watch Yeah. They're fun. Truly hours. They're cute. Seahorses are so cute. (laughs) They're so cute. And there's these little things called sea dragons, which are like seahorse adjacent. Also mm-hmm. very cute, but like definitely with more flair. Um, oh, they're cute. I love the mimic octopus. That's my favorite one. Like, oh, where it looks just like a rock? No, it could change its entire body and colorization to mimic other animals. That's wild. Like it can thin out its body to mimic a sea serpent. It could like shrink itself to make itself look like a crawfish like it it's it's nuts it could look like a coconut i swear they have like (laughs) there's there's gotta be some like wild science happening with octopi Mm -hmm. like maybe they're the real aliens it's right like maybe maybe they have come here and they this is their planet and right they are just waiting for the day Mm mm-hmm that we discover their true nature. Yeah. Because they are, they're smart. They're, they're incredibly smart. They are. They like get themselves out of jars. They are so smart and they know people. Mm-hmm. Like I was right. reading a book and, and the woman writes about animals and she was um, caring for one or visiting one. I think she was writing an article about octopus or whatever and the octopus would throw her arm out. She mm-hmm. was a female and she would throw her arm out and taste her with the tentacles. Mm. And then they, she knew like, oh, this is... Oh, wow. This person. Wild. Yeah. I mean, they're... Listen. Octopi, if you're aliens, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Because there's it. no other animal on Earth like the aqua well, squids, I, mean, I guess, but... They Not are even fascinating yeah. creatures. Uh, Allie, yes. Which living bird has the largest wingspan at nearly twelve feet in length? I think I know, but read them to me. Or four meters for those of you from our Europe nations. Uh, a- oh, so we're gonna put we're gonna put <laughs> meters. 
No, I, I, okay. I did the translation I'll, of meters. So I was like, if that really says meters on no. it, but we can't get the apostrophe right, we're going to have problems. No, and it's not actually four meters. It's like, problem. it's like 3.7 meters. Uh, a, a great white pelican. Mm-mm. B, a wandering albatross. C, an Andean condor. Or D, a marabou stork. I'm pretty sure it's the albatross. B, the wandering albatross. Yeah. Yes. And my head was albatross because yeah. I know that they're huge. They are huge, yeah. Um, I, you know how I know that albatrosses are huge? And how? Uh, from the rescuers down under. <laughs> <laughs> Because John Candy plays an albatross that flies them. Yeah. And then they're landing in Australia and he looks at the chart of birds. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I know albatross are huge from literature. I don't know if it's a, really? a poem or a, a book I read as a child, but yeah. It's just one of those things that's mm. in my brain. I'm not sure why. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There's definitely a lot of like literary references to albatross. Yeah. Isn't, aren't they like a symbol of shame or death? Or like wearing an albatross around your neck was a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what percentage of a cat's bones are in its tail? And I would like to report everyone that it's here is correct. <laughs> so definitely written by a different person. What percentage of a cat's bones are in its tail? 5, 10, 20, 40. All right. I got to imagine cats have nearly as many bones as us. And how many bones do we have in our tail? <laughs> yeah, correct. Uh, I'm going to say 5%. Incorrect. Oh, 10, it is 10%. 10%. Look at that. It was one or the other. Uh, we we're learning a lot about animals today. Yeah. Where are crickets ears located on their bodies? That's a great question. I don't know the answer to. Wow. I would love some choices. A, wings. B, legs. C, antennae. Or D, head. Where are their ears? Yeah, where are their ears located on their bodies? Wings, legs, antennae, or head? I want to know what ears means. Like their listening I, holes. I think, right. <laughs> is ear the inner part? Is that really what an ear is? I mean, is? they don't have an ear like we have ears. Right, but like think of an animal's ears, right? Mm-hmm. It's outside of, you can see it. Right. Any human beings, you can see the ears. Sure. Elephants, you can Elements, see the ears. See Giraffes, the ears, right? you can see the ears. So, yes. It is the so, flap of skin that funnels the sound right. into the ear hole. Right. So, ear cannot mean that then if they're using ear here, but also they don't know how to use grammar correctly. Correct. So, I guess I don't need to dig that deeply into the meaning <laughs> of the word ear. Where are their listening holes? Is it their wings? Their listening <laughs> holes are not on their wings. That uh-huh. I know. Their legs, antennae, or head. Are the antennae not on the head? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Let's say, I feel like if you're saying head, it's because it's not on the head. So let's say the legs. B, the legs? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Way to use process of elimination and critical thinking to answer this Anytime. question, Allie. Anytime. I appreciate it. See, that is how, if more of us approached our exams that way, there would be a lot more passing in this world. <laughs> <laughs> or we could just, you know, eliminate standardized tests. Or we could just eliminate it. That's a hot take and we're not going to get into that. Yeah, because it's, a, it's a hot take for another podcast. Yeah, but, uh, it's not that kind of podcast. We don't love it. Okay. <laughs> Give me a chance and to tie you. the apostrophe is correct. This is so upsetting, this game. <laughs> oh, here's another where is an animal something. Okay. Um, where's a butterfly's nose Ooh. located on its body? Okay. Feet, wings, thorax, antenna. Um... I'm going to say feet. Yeah. Yeah, feet. Yeah. I feel like a lot of bugs taste things with their feet. Yeah. Because I know it doesn't have a nose. Like a, like a butterfly has, like has a proboscis. A big, long... Yeah, proboscis. Have you ever looked at a butterfly's face up close? No, but it's horrifying, it is isn't it? It is the stuff of nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> it's truly like if I was going to write a horror movie monster, it would just be a butterfly's face. But larger. But it would be a big version of a butterfly's face. Hmm. Not the wings, yeah. not the pretty part, just a butterfly's face with like a humanoid body. Oh, gross. Yes. I think that's where the Mothman prophecies came from. Very, is that it's very horrifying yes. creature and then imagine it full-sized. Right. <laughs> right. 
Ooh. I mean, most things look really horrifying if you zoom this in. This is lot. true, yeah. Uh, Allie, how yes. fast can a chameleon's tongue travel? Oh, that's a good question. A, 5.7 miles per hour. B, 57 miles per hour. C, 579 miles per hour. Or D, 5,795 miles per hour. And For sediment, reference, 750 <laughs> uh, many kilometers per crumpets. Great. I don't <laughs> About six kilometers per crumpet. <laughs> and for the, for the record, uh, the speed of sound is like 750 miles per hour. <laughs> so can they crack the sound yeah. barrier with their tongue? Can they crack the sound barrier with their What's tongue? What's the second option? 57. Yeah, so it's 5.7, 5. 57, yeah, 579. Let's say 57. 57 That's miles fast. per hour is incorrect. Is it five? It is 5,795 miles per hour. What? That is how fast a chameleon's tongue can travel. Okay. Okay. So 5,795. So sound barrier. Several times. Yeah, it travels like Mach 4. <laughs> Or higher. It travels so quickly that the G forces forces it well, back in and it cannot like actually 4, move. Four thousand and change. Yeah, it's yeah, it's traveling like Mach five That's or insane. six. That's well, insane. All right, so it's not too crazy to think about when you think that like a whip travels faster than the speed of sound because that's what you're that's hearing. That's what makes the whip. That's what makes a whipping sound. Okay. So a so chameleon's tongue. So you basically just have a a, a, a whip, whip for in a their tongue, mouth, basically. Yeah, or fa well, faster than a whip. That is. Aggressive. I mean, that's purely aggressive. Yeah. Okay. Which part of a shrimp's? Oh no! Got one <laughs> right, not the other one. <sighs> <laughs> so it, it did shrimps as possessive. Yeah. And what part of a shrimp's body is its heart located? <laughs> In what part of a shrimp's body is it is hearts located? Oh no! Go ahead, give me the options. Head, abdomen, tail, legs. I'm going to say head. Yeah. Yeah. It sounded, it sounded like a fact that I've heard before that a shrimp's heart is I feel in like head. I did just hear that. Yeah. The other But day. also like people who have shrimp, like you're having the shrimp without the head and there's no heart in there. You're just eating the, yeah. you know. Yeah. It's body is just. Meat and a tract of it's just, feces. Yeah. It's just meat and. <laughs> Gross food. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta be honest, if I weren't allergic to shrimp, I don't know that I'd eat it. I don't like shrimp. Yeah, it's I don't like it. I feel much. like shrimp, lobster, yeah. crawfish like it's all they're all dirty if I animals. Never, yeah, if I never ate it again I wouldn't be yeah. upset. I just don't like No shrimp. offense to people who do. I just like why are you paying Listen, if you love shrimp, <laughs> guess what? That means more for you because I'm not gonna eat I, any. I guess, yeah. Yeah. Like it's they're the roaches there and the ants be, of the sea. They are. They really are. Yeah. And there used to be, you you know this, there mm -hmm. used to be a rule that you could only feed prisoners lobster a certain number of times <laughs> a week because it was considered like... Peasant food, It was considered yeah. disgusting, like you cannot feed people this uh -huh. food and so they could only have it a certain number of times a week. And now people are like, ooh, lobster. <laughs> All right, true or false, Allie? A squirrel can fall from any height at terminal velocity and live. I mean, that can't be true. Any height, any height. Like you can put I, a squirrel into the stratosphere and it's going to travel at terminal velocity and live. Well, because no, I, I think the, not. the question is what is terminal velocity for a squirrel? Like, is terminal velocity for a squirrel just a few. Right, but the question also says any, any height. height. Yeah. Which means that you've tested this theory mm -hmm. at every possible height. In order to determine whether it is true or false. And or you I know just, that has not happened. You can just use math to figure it out. Like, no. no matter how high you go, a squirrel will only travel X amount of miles per hour, and it's enough for it to survive the fall. I mean, they have, like, little... Yeah. They do this. Yeah. Are you saying true? Are you leading me to believe it's true? Maybe. That cannot be true. So what are you saying? I'm saying false. That cannot be true. It is true. I don't That's what that. it says. But it also uses it is yeah, many times. So I don't know how true. The grammar is questionable. <laughs> I have not done the research here. Yeah. I, yeah. It's the any height. I don't. It's not. 
I'm going to have to no. look for some sort of... If you if you take a squirrel uh-huh. into Like from the Empire space, State Building. And it falls through, it's going gonna, it's gonna to incinerate before it gets to the Earth. I guess. Well, yeah, from space. It's that the space any height. a height. Yes, I guess. <laughs> Let's do one more. What animal can sleep for three years straight? Three years straight? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is it cicadas? No. Okay, go a ahead. A brown bear, a snail, a koala, or a bat? A brown bear, a snail, a koala, or a bat? I want to guess snail. Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. Oof. I heard a whole podcast about... <laughs> It's a great episode of... You listen pod- to other podcasts besides our own? <laughs> yeah, I listen to a lot of podcasts. Uh, there's a great podcast called This Is Love, mm. and every episode is about some sort of love, but like not in the traditional romantic sense. So one of the episodes was about a snail who was left coiling. So his shell, their shell, mm-hmm. snails don't really have gender, uh, their shell curled mm-hmm. the opposite way of most other snails. Uh. And because of that, it was difficult for a right coiling snail mm. to mate with them because of the way that they actually mate with each other. Mm-hmm. So the owner of this snail puts out into the universe like, hey, I need a left coiling snail who might be interested in the snail. I think one of them was like Frank <laughs> or something, right? <laughs> And so they introduce him to each other and they're like, yeah, he's, they're not really interested. And they put him in the refrigerator and just let him like sit there and chill for a little while, literally chill for a while. And then they got him back out and he was like, oh yeah, let's do this. I'm let's ready go. to go. I'm ready. <laughs> Look at this left coiling hottie. It's really a weird and beautiful story about snails getting it on and and just goes to prove that there's someone out there for everyone there sure is yeah. there sure is it, except the part of the point was they were trying to figure out what caused the left coiling mm. snail so they were like okay if two left coiling snails mate yeah and they make a left coiling snail like that gives that us is genetic some right yeah but it did it <laughs> so oh, now no. they're just still like i don't know what makes this happen huh yeah do you think maybe well okay so here's a question about snails I probably won't know the answer, but I'm happy sure, to talk sure, sure. about but it. But if you know, if any of our little ghosties out there know the answer, go ahead and reach us into what our is comments. What's a snail it's expert called? I wonder. Uh, sna- escargologist. <laughs> Snologist. Um, escar. Yeah, escargologist. escargologist. Um, no, that's French. Um, so my question. So Which it's not comes like, from Latin. Like hermit crabs inherit their shells or soda cans or whatever right Mm -hmm. like do snails make their own shells i guess so right i think they do because i've seen tiny 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 little snails right and then they get you know they they have have bigger shells shells. so like maybe they make it as they so this one just happened to coil backwards that's fascinating right because also if you look at the inside the inside is very small yeah so i feel like it just builds kind of around them as they as they grow okay I, f- I feel like that. And you can also, if you look really closely, sort of see ridges. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Almost like a tree. Mm, mm-hmm. So I wonder if maybe that's a year of life or mm, after a okay. certain point. I don't know. Yeah, we don't I'm know. Just, We're speculating. These are just hypotheses. We're using critical thinking skills yes. to figure out the answer to this question. Yeah. Great. Fantastic. All right, little ghosties. That was Wild and Wacky Animals. Um Wait. I get one it. more because I started reading. You get one more? Okay. Yeah. Right. Dash always tries to... I'm sorry. I try to... Which bear is known to have a bite strong enough to break a bowling ball? <gasps> a, grizzly. I don't want any of that to happen to me. <laughs> I don't want it. B, polar. C, brown. Or D, panda. And right now I have five. How many do you have? It's not a panda. I have three. You have three? Well, so no matter what, I win this. Okay, go ahead. That was aggressive. <laughs> I, I have to take them where I can get them, And I'm giving them, myself two points <laughs> for the trauma <laughs> of the apostrophes in this game. 
<laughs> Which bear is known to have a bite I strong don't enough know. to I don't break know. a bowling ball? But I, I don't think it's polar. I don't think it is panda. I want Which bear is big enough to put an entire bowling ball in their mouth? I think it's a brown bear, honestly. I think brown bears are super aggressive. Hmm. So that's what I'm going to say. You're going to say brown bear. The answer is a grizzly. Ooh, grizzly. Is that bears. why they call them grizzly? I guess so. Yeah, they're, they're really grizzly one bears. One old old bear just sitting there <laughs> crunching on a bunch of bowling balls, and he's like, "Kids, back I, in my day, so I have seen <laughs> I have seen so many bowling balls come and go." <laughs> I have questions about this question. Um, number one, how did a grizzly bear get its paws on a bowling ball number one uh number two why did it bite down on it strong <laughs> enough to break it uh and number three how was this in a situation where it was observed by somebody yeah. in order to make this question my guess is science right they right. measure the bite like of a they bear. They measure the bite of the bear, and then they put that pressure on, on a bowling, bowling ball, ball yeah. and they see if they can crush Damn it. Damn science ruining all the fun ways of measuring I know. things. <laughs> I want to picture the moment when a, bo- when a bear came upon a bowling ball in the woods and yeah. was just like, oh, gum! Candy! <laughs> <laughs> gum! Did you ever see, there was a show, I think it was on Discovery and then later on one of the streaming platforms, um, where they answered the questions of like what would happen if this animal yes. faced the other animal? Yes, and it was like what would happen if a grizzly bear fought an alligator? Yes, yes. Or like what would happen if uh, there was one that I watched? It was what what would happen if a hippo fought a bull shark? Oh yeah, I saw that. Episode. Yes. Oh man, it would take like speed and the bite oh, power man. and the aggressive like. It's a solid watch. It is a solid watch. It is a so- that is a solid 30 yeah. mili- minutes mm-hmm. of television. Yeah. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. Also, anyway. the hippo won. Yeah. <laughs> a hippo will murder you <laughs> for fun because they're like omnivores. They're, it's they like, like eat you plants. think it's cute because you're like, oh, look at the little thick boys and girls. <laughs> oh my God. Look at their the water. Look at their pink sweat. How cute. And then it looks you in the eye and is like, I will murder I you will murder for you. fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. That was wild. Oh, wait, we got to rate the box. We got to go ahead. Rate the box. We got to rate this. Okay. It's this, like a tiny cereal box. This <laughs> box. Yeah. This box is. Yeah. This box. It's giving like dollar store toy that you bought for a kid's <laughs> gift bag yeah i mean i got it at five below yeah in a pack of four right. trivia games yeah it's so. giving it's giving dollar store gift bag mm-hmm. toy okay box yeah let's give it that yeah. uh the cards are glossy on one side matte on the other i do like that they're square yeah they're i not, like that they're square they're not traditional playing card size yeah i'm giving it's them like a four by four yeah, yeah like a four by four square i'm gonna give them like the free coaster that you can pick up at a bar. Uh, yeah. Because it's okay. kind of what they feel like. Fair. Also. They're a little bit thinner than the coaster. They're thinner than yeah, that. Yeah, thinner than the coaster. You could definitely put a drink on Sure, that. sure. Yeah. Uh, you know what this reminds me of, actually? I'm going to give it a flyer that somebody places on your window while you're at church. Oh, great. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'll give it. Yep. Yeah, that works. Um, I will say this. It loses a lot of points for the grammar errors. So many grammar errors. Yeah. <laughs> because, you know, like it's a trivia game. So you want to believe that the knowledge that you're getting from right. the trivia. But then you see a glaring grammatical error yeah. and you're just like, I don't. I don't know that I trust I don't these. trust the research. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I need some footnotes. Yeah, right, right. Exactly. I need to. Yeah. I need to do a Google. Yeah. So playability. Uh, very easy to play. Very easy to play. Very easy to play. Like a game of Gaga Ball. Yeah. Yeah. Gaga. What's Gaga Ball? Uh, it's the one where it's like a it's like a pit and it's like you sl- it's it's played with the same ball as a dodgeball but you don't have to grab it or throw it you slap the ball and then in order to score a point you have to hit somebody below the knee. Oh. Okay. It was like a whole episode never, of Bob's Burgers about it. Never heard of such a thing. Yeah, Gaga ball. It's okay. like a thing up north. Sure. Um, so like it's that easy of a game. Yeah, so it's game, it's a very yeah. easy game. Flip over card, read it. 
um, feel stress about the grammar. So here's the thing about our fun rating. Yeah. We always have fun playing these games. That's part of the show. <laughs> so I feel like we're always going to be like, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Yeah. I, <laughs> this one was a stressful sort of fun. <laughs> this was like a, this was like a, a spelling bee okay. level of fun. Okay. All right. Fair. But like not in front of the whole school, in front of like just your classmates. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 So this tiny is, amount of stress. Yeah. Fair. It's like a spelling bee. Like you're, spe- you're doing your spelling words for your class. Yeah. Right. In the class. Mm-hmm. This is our spelling words spelling bee sure. for the week. Yeah. 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 All right. That was trivia. Wild and wacky animals. Part of a four pack that I got at five below. So go to five below. Check out their game section. It's actually pretty well stocked it's got a lot of the classics the connect fours the tic-tac-toes your chess or whatever yeah. but it's also got stuff like this that you find randomly and trivia games are great toss oh, it in a bag so good, yeah toss it in a car mm-hmm. toss it in a glove box you got yeah. something to do on a right exactly set. yeah don't do it by yourself have, take someone with you and have them <laughs> read the cards but yeah yeah part, part of the fun of games is playing with somebody else you know sure yeah all right everybody we'll catch you next time Bye. Thanks for listening, everyone. Now we'd love to hear from you. You can visit playdatepod.us to watch our videos, access our episode library, find out more about our brand of quality, clean comedy, and contact us with any questions or comments. Improvisers love audience suggestions, so make sure you visit playdatepod.us. And the podcast you just heard was a production of Society Circus Players. If you like what you heard today, please rate, review, subscribe, and share it with a friend. And finally... If life's a circus, we're We're the clowns. clowns. Oops, sorry. This is supposed to be an evergreen episode. Let's not not talk about exact dates. Like dates, yeah. (laughs) This is some time at some point in the universe. What a day that was. What a day today has been. Can you believe what that politician said? Can you believe that news that came out today? (laughs) And the other thing that happened? Wow. Wow. Crazy stuff. Crazy wildness. Yeah.